Hey guys, I'm Rose Vane, and welcome back to another episode of Bioshock Infinite. Where we last left off was we basically jumped around with our new ability to figure out that the hook... I guess it's the hook claw, I think. I, I can't remember what it was called before. But the hook claw basically had man magnetic powers to take us to a hook. Uh, so far is what we learned, and we fought against some rebels, apparently, instead of the, the police officers. But we did fight the police officers at first. Yeah, so they're talking in the background. It was bound to happen. Violence is not a foregone conclusion. <laughs> Violence is not a full-on conclusion. Well, sorry sir, I'm gonna probably gonna beat you up. <laughs> Even though I know that they kinda hate our guts, I think, at the same time. <gasps> Tim, the one they're after. Go. They're looking for you. Police! We're in need of your assistance! They're here! Shh! Keep your voice down. <laughs> I wonder if I can open this door. All right, let's move on. What? That is a very interesting. Oh, is it first? Like I thought it was like popcorn for some reason because of the shape. Oof. I see. This is like the printing press, basically. Yeah, they kind of like do whatever. I can't remember if I've like wrecked some folks in the game when I previously played. Yeah, because I know that you get the option to just kill off some folks because of the fact that you're given that option in a weird way. But wait, why is this? Hint is coming out of nowhere. Where is this hint coming from? Is this that the vending machines are. Oh, that's so sad. They. Interesting. So this means that the. Wait, why is Abraham Lincoln on the picture and then there's these folks who look like they're slaves to these owners or these people? That's so sad. If that is. If that's what I think it is, is that they, they worship the wrong way of everything. Yeah, that's... Until the thing is equal, none of us are equal. Columbia Friends of the Society. Okay, so these people are actually trying to protect them. And trying to make them as equal parts he uh, human as, as the group, I guess. Alright. I mean, that's a good sign that they're actually trying to help people. Sorry, I'm trying to see what happened. I see a text. Okay. I might have to take a break here, I just realized. Uh, but anyways. Um, let's check this area out. Yeah, there. I guess the portrait of Abraham Lincoln is not a uh, false premise. I thought it was like a bad thing. <laughs> that they were like doing the opposite, the hypocrisy in a sense. But I'm glad that this is not that bad so far. Yeah, until the those people is equal, none of us are equal. Yeah. Yeah, they're fighting for their freedom. So that's pretty good that they're doing the thing that they're doing. More assaults. More health. Is there anything else that I'm missing around here? Yeah, I don't know what the difference is for some folks. I don't know what the difference are for these folks, though. Because it's like, it's hard to know exactly... Yeah, because they're just killing them. They're trying to kill them. I hear a, uh... No, no. Nope, not what I wanted. Nope. I'm trying to figure out what the what the tools are, so, like how to swap it out. Excuse me? Who said that? Oh, jeez. Oh god, there's- is that a handyman? Oh no, it's like another- it's another flamethrower guy. Screw off! There's another flamethrower, dude. Okay. Oh. There we go. Oh jeez. I need to be careful. 
Oh, jeez. Oh. oh, I can't even kill it. Really? Okay, I'm really low on ammo, it seems like. There we go. There. There we go. Alright, let me switch over to my pistol for now because it looks like I'm running low on ammo. Yeah, I forgot this. So there's one difference between this game and like a few couple of others so far, and that's literally because you can run in this game. <laughs> like all the Bioshock games in the past have not allowed you to run, and now it's like this one's like letting you run. This is very, which is very different from the other games so far as a play. And it's like I can't tell if uh, you know if you have to like kill or not, like. Some folks don't seem like they're good guys, and then sometimes they do seem like they're good guys. But then they don't- I don't know what the terms are to define who they are as good or bad. Uh, and that's why I think it's hard for me to see the reality of like, what's evil and what's good in this group of place. Is that a fucking Bronco? Bronco drink somewhere? Gobstock came by the wagon and no man was just- he just transfixed by my trophy scalps. Asked about the white ones there. I said, well, sir, if your quarry dwells in the jungle and beds down with the local color, why split hairs? <laughs> Not a chuckle out of him. Either he ain't seen a man go native or maybe, maybe too many. Anyhow, now it's got me hunting down this Daisy Fitzroy. Hope we don't expect me to stuff and mount her. <laughs> Daisy Fitzroy sounds familiar. Like, it's a name that sounds familiar to me. I'm not sure which historical figure it was, but it sounds like it. Well, now they're running. <laughs> well. What? Okay. I mean, as long as they don't reveal where I'm at, then I'm totally fine with them running away, I guess. Yeah, that's my only concern, is just like, if I'm running around, I just hope they're not just gonna tell some folk, like, hey, there's, you know, this guy here. Alright, session. What do you sell? Health kit, ammo. So this is basically a combination of, like, the, uh... It's like a combination of the uh, Bandito, I think, from the Bioshock series, like the guns, guns shop and the Circus of Value shop, all put together in one. Which is not bad, I guess, but it's kind of sad that it's like one side of me. One side of thing only, so, I don't know. Alright, let's move into the next area and I'll probably take a stop for now to take a break, because apparently I gotta, I gotta step away for a little bit. Ooh, is this really fascinating? Oh, jeez, this is like an eyeball there. <laughs> like Illuminati right here all over. Written all over the space. Alright, I'll take a pause here, and I'll be right back. And then I will, uh, yeah, hopefully we'll continue with this episode and finish up uh, the episode. So, I'll be right back, and I hope you guys will take whatever small amount of time there is. So, alright, sorry about that. Yeah, we are back now. Hopefully we're, we're good to go. Alright, so yeah, back to the Illuminati mansion. Looks like an Illuminati mansion. It's kind of strange though. Comstock's, Comstock fights the Serpent of Nations. Interesting. They kind of see the col colony from the America as like a bad thing. Interestingly enough. Alright. Get some salts back in. Yeah, so the, the when I loaded back up and stuff, it was like I was in a different space. So <laughs> I was like, oh, okay, well, that sucks. Anyways, um, yeah, this place started getting dark for some reason. I don't know why it became gloomy and dark. Uh, I'm assuming there's something, like, cursed about this area, but I might be wrong. Looking for any sort of secret area here, so... Apologies that I'm walking around in a weird place. Yeah, 
eat apple for health. Are you kidding me? Ew, they the birds are running a mock here. The crows are getting them <laughs> getting a piece of something. Is that Comstock? With a pistol? No, this is John Wilkes Booth. Oh wait, isn't this the guy who Oh, come on, are you kidding me? They're worshipping the wrong person here. The guy who assassinated Abraham Lincoln. Isn't this the guy? God damn it, dude. Seriously? This is disgusting. Who's this? Who are these guys? Screw you. Nope. Oh, jeez. Yeah, these guys are not cool people. Oh, jeez. Oh, God. There's more people. Lay down, buddy. This ain't your fight. My God, dude. This kind of sucks that there was, like, people who are, like, around who are, like, being, like, uh, worshipping on the wrong side of the, the freaking things here. Oops. Okay, I, I took a pack of tobacco <laughs> and I was like oh god yeah I'm not supposed to keep using it because it's gonna reduce some health or or salts depending on my situation here what's up and when the angel Columbia gave on to the founders the tools to build a new Eden they did so without hesitation for 85 years they prepared the way of the Lord but when the great apostate came, he brought war with him, and the fields of Eden were soaked with the blood of brothers. The only emancipation he had to offer was death. Okay, that was a tin. Okay. What is this, cookies? No, it's coffee. Okay. Yeah, so far I'm, I'm not sure what to expect in this place. Protection or protecting our race. Yeah, that's a uh, yikes. It's interesting because when I was playing this game in the first time, I never thought about the context of what's going on in this space. I just, I think I really liked the game's like tone of the levels. I think as a level designer myself, I I'm a big fan of level design, but I don't think about the narrative behind it sometimes. Like this one, I never thought about the narrative when I first played it. Probably because I was playing it in a sense of thinking like, oh, it's another Bioshock because it's Bioshock. But this one has a little bit more historical context involved. And bless my my innocent head, I did not care to think that this is about race in any way, shape, or form. Uh, that is, yeah. At least it's interesting. I, I mean, it's something that's getting me thinking now. Like, why did I miss these messages, I guess? But at the same time, why are there so many crows in the freaking interior? Uh, yeah, like, it's really interesting and fascinating to see how they're playing it differently than... than the, uh, than the normal way of looking at it. And hypocrites of Washington betrayed him. Our prophet did not heal. He did not come crawling for their forgiveness. Like our fathers broke with the great apostate, our prophet broke with these so called patriots. And today is the day we celebrate this secession. Yeah, this guy might have... Okay, he does have that ability, isn't it? Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Where do you come from? Where do you guys come from? Oh. Alright, there we go. Oh, there's another guy right there. Oh, another guy? Not dead? Oh, jeez. Okay. Alright. Gonna put you in the ground. Hi. Yeah, you got you got grounded. Grounded by zero. Oh, there goes that guy. Where is? Where are these go guys going through? Okay, not this room. Oh. 
I was like, where are these guys getting to this upstairs from? Where, oh, there it is. There's the stairs. I need it. Where is it? Where are these? I see nobody. Oh, hi, buddy. It's interesting that I'm softening these guys up by, like, whacking them and then shooting them. It's like... Or shooting them and then whacking them. Like, I'm softening the, the blow from... From my shots or my hits. Seems like the other guy disappeared though. The uh, the the leader of this group so far. The leader of the group literally walked away as uh, or disappeared as we were. What to... exactly was the great emancipator emancipating the Negro from? From his daily bread, from the nobility of honest work, from wealthy patrons who sponsored them from cradle to grave, from clothing and shelter. And what have they done with their freedom? Why, go to Finkton and you shall find out. No animal is born free, except the white man. And it is our burden to care for the rest of creation. Excuse me. That is, uh, I see where their their tone and like where the message is coming or going. But yeah, I see the key here. Optional quest gives you an opportunity to. Yeah, I know. Awkwardly, I I didn't I got the key, but I don't know how I'm gonna get back to that very same place. All right, I'm gonna even it out, so I'm gonna get the shield up a little bit. Nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> it's just like how you just like said that. Yeah, like. How am I gonna get back to the key, the the, the toy box thing? Like, uh, are we gonna circle back around to that area? I wonder. Or is it gonna be like different, but like in a small sort of way? More crows. I'm wondering what happens if we kill a crow. I'm not gonna. I don't want to, but if it doesn't do anything, it just scares them away. Okay, I'll take it. There's blood here though. Radio is playing nothing, which is because of the music. Seems like these desks were scrounged. Somebody looked through them already, it seems. But yeah, otherwise I think that uh, the nature of this whole game so far has been interesting to me. Uh, because I don't think... I think it's, it's such a touchy subject that, uh, that it's hard to really know what to say or do in this kind of space. But... Then again, I think there might have been some similar tones in the uh, Bioshock series, the first and second one, that had similar sort of takes on it, but very microscopically. Uh, but this one is like full on, like full on. Like it's trying to like get in deep into it, which is kind of crazy, but really respect it. Respect it for what, it, what it's trying to do or trying to experiment on. I don't think I need anything, do I? Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna be purchasing much. A carnival of trip at your disposal. I'm scared of this room because of how it's presented to me. All right. Uh, let me get some items here. What is? What are the stuff on the table here? What is this red thing? Oh, ammo. Okay, so the the way to see that there's ammo in the room because it's it's through the UI. Oh, there's a cool. There's a cool secret area here. Now, how do we open this bad boy up? Oh, we have to remove it ourselves? Okay. Alright. I'm confused with the projector thing, but sure. Uh, is there anything new here? Oh, there's a box phone. Sweet mother of Columbia. Why do we worship three symbols in your memory? We worship the sword, so that we might avenge you. We worship the raven, so that we might cover the city with eyes. We worship the coffin, because it symbolizes the weight of our faith. Uh-huh. Fascinating. <clears throat> Alright, let's get moving here. Uh, I don't know 
I don't think I can do anything with the projector, so I'll leave that be. Looks like the door leads somewhere else, but let me open up this pathway. I'm kinda curious. There we go. Oh, it gives us a new ability here. Okay. Uh, then what's up here then? Is this the pathway for? I just want to go back to my family. It looks like it sounds like a torture chamber. Oh. Oh, that's a dude. Okay. Um, before we go through that, let's go grab this thing then. <laughs> I wasn't sure what pat what like what's which one is you know moving forward and which one's not. It just does not scream at me. You can only wear four types. I don't know that. Um, new pants, headmaster, critical hit damage by fifty percent. I'll take it. Yeah, that's really cool. So pretty, pretty strong equipment. But that's only if you have a really strong weapon, that is, with a headshot. Like, if you're really good at, like, shooting heads, then obviously that seems more plausible to equip that item. Although there was a new ability, I thought, because of the way it's presented, but it's not, so that's whatever. Alright, I think that's pretty much in this base, yeah. Okay, let's move forward. I think we need to fight that guy with a crow ability though, and once we beat him, we probably might get the ability to do what he did, I guess? Alright. Yeah, I remember this fight specifically, because he was a tough fight, I think. This guy's a really tough fight, I think. Devil's Kiss equipped. Okay, uh... My bad, I didn't mean to. Huh? Oh jeez. Oh jeez. <laughs> right. Running, 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 running. Oh, he's dead already. What's this? Some new kind of vigor. Oh wow. Okay, that was. That's a hell of a thing. So yeah, this is the ability, the crow ability. Ooh, that is a vicious crow. Vicious looking crow. Press to summon murderous crows. Hold and release to create a nest trap. Alright. I wonder how I took him down so easily, though. Right click to murder... Summon murderous crows to stun and damage enemies. Okay. Yeah, I know that. Okay. Oh, jeez. Another set of folks. Sheesh, that was really random. I was not anticipating their freaking jump, jump against me right there and then, but sure. Yeah, I don't know what to do with the trap. It seems like the trap's just sitting there now forever. Alright. Honestly, that was a really uh, interesting thing where we got murderous crows. Okay, so yeah, now we now that we have more than two, we can only like have two that we can actively pro proactively switch to, which is pretty fascinating. Oh, this that's sad, but the guy is up there. Hanging. Alright. Let's move it forward a little bit. What is this? New hat, burning halo. 70% that a melee damage is set ablaze. Victim takes 300 damage over 4 seconds. I don't know what these like numbers are for. Because we never really know exactly. Uh, we never know exactly. Oh, there's a wrench. <laughs> Thinking of Bioshock 1 already. Interesting, so these are the type of stores that sell equipment, I'm assuming, considering how they look different. Is this like a reference to... I'm thinking, out of my mind, that this looks like a reference to Jewish people, because of the rabbi... The, not the rabbi, I don't know what I'm saying. The the hat? I don't know what they're called. Exactly. That was a mistake, I, I didn't mean to summon the thing. 
but it's whatever. That's my thinking. I might be wrong. The false shepherd, this anarchist, is either a dwarf or a French man with a missing left eye. No more than four foot and nine inches. What? How am I four foot? I'm not that short, buddy. Oh, I, I can get to Monument Island missing. from that station. So we gotta go to the gondola station. Understood. Okay. Oh. Okay, yeah, my bad. I, I was clicking in weird places. I want to try to jump to that thing, but it's like... It needs to be shorter, I think? Or maybe I can't reach it from this far. Maybe. It might be too, too far off for me. Anything else in here? No? Let's move forward. Alright. Some salts. More salts, please. I'm gonna switch over to possession for now because I want to. Because I'm not in active fighting yet, so we'll probably have to worry less about things for now. Uh... I like how the sound design is like. Once you get into a room, it's a little different. Like, it starts, like, being a bit more of a different tone of, like, sound that starts playing. What's this? Oh, money. More item foods. Wait, is this the house that I came in from? were bigger than that. Squinty. Okay, miss, can you recall his hair color? It was... Mm, red and curly? He looked Irish to me. Yes, like that. Okay, what about his temperament? Oh, he was certainly an anarchist. You can spot them anywhere, you know. Oh, I know. That's a close likeness. I'm guessing that's what they were expecting the, the characters to be. Like... I think they're asking about how I look, how my character look, how Booker looks, <laughs> and she's giving them the wrong descriptor, which is interesting. Unless it's like somebody else, like they're looking for another criminal that's not Booker DeWitt. Hello. <laughs> Goodbye. Oh. Are they actually looking for me? Really? Headshot. Is that a promotion you want? Death? Come on, man. Is that the... Like, are they looking for me? Is this how I look? That they want to look like? <laughs> if it's me, if, if this is technically their idea of who I look like, I'd be like, why? <laughs> well, I'll leave her be. I think she's just so ignorant. I don't know. It, it's hard to say for sure, but... I mean, honestly, like, this this whole sort of scenario where you can, like... What do you want to do with the innocent? Do you walk away or leave them and leave them alone? Or just, like, kill them off and stuff like that? Is bringing me back to the Dishonored and, uh, and Prey. Prey days. Prey 2017. Like, the immersive sin is just kicking into my head. Just, like, thinking, like, about those kind of games. This makes me wonder about those kind of things nowadays. Alright. Anyways, where do we need to go? I'm so trapped in where I need to go. Lady, tell me where is this open door? Is there an open window door somewhere? I'm just confused because there's no, like... This door is locked. And the door on the other side here is locked. And gated. I'm confused where I need to go. And this one's locked and gated. What the heck? Are we not meant to go in here? Oh, we're not meant to go in here. Okay, it was just a little weirdly... It's a weird... Uh... There we go. Kill you. I'm missing my shot. Alright, cool. I missed my shots like so many times, I do apologize. <laughs> 
I'm really bad at shooting. That's a brick. Thought that was a food item for some reason. Nothing. All right. All right. Let's meet. Keep it moving up. Yeah. So that that one little house was just like some sort of story, I guess, like about what's going on. Well, I'm, I'm pretty much full in health. Okay. I thought I was. I thought I was needing more health or something. Anything on here? No. No. Not it. Okay. Trash can. Some salt. Nice. I think there's nothing else over here. Okay. Alright, let's go. Let's go to the station. Alright. Huh. Okay. Yeah, I want to get the money as much as possible. Wait, what is this one? Dollar bill? Yeah, this is the one that gives you all the other stuff. Ammo and stuff. Not bad, not bad. Hey, come on up. Splash him out. Oh god, there's more enemies here. Why? Oh jeez. Alright, there we go. Give me that money. Nope. Oh jeez, I hit the wood. <laughs> Is there more guards around? Hi. Get back. You'll be sorry. Bye. Oh, he's not dead. Why does why is my hitting like makes me go forward sometimes? Oh god, is there like an actual like thing? I lost them for like a second there. Alright. No, oh, jeez, another guy? I didn't see that. Oh, hi, lady. Okay, there we go. Sometimes it's hard to know what the heck I'm expecting here sometimes, but it's like difficult to say. Yeah, it's like difficult to see where I'm headed sometimes, where I'm like thinking I'm gonna go this way, but then not realizing that the enemies are like all over. <laughs> all over the space, that's just making it hard for me to like figure out where, where to head to after. Actually, no, no, no. They didn't give me enough time to check this thing out. That's what I, that's what I wanted to say. Ooh, that's expensive. Yeah, I'm like barely a few dollars away. Adds mini clusters for greater area of effect range and damage. Causes the corpse of murder of crow's tra victims to become crow traps. Oh, that's so like tempting to save up for right now too. There's a thing there. Unfortunately, I'm going to end it here for because of the fact that uh, it's a good spot to just come into and then like... You know, call it for now. Nothing there. Oh, hey. Not enough, though. I thought there was, like, enough, pro like, uh, dollars to get to the <laughs> to the next upgrade for the flame one. I want to get the flame one, too, at the same time. I want to get all the abilities. Because they sound so tempting. They, they sound really good, like, in general. Alright, anyways. But, yeah. Um... I'll leave myself from here. I don't want to keep exploring because I, I feel like if I keep exploring, I'm going to get too tempted to like keep exploring until I get out of the space. Plus, I don't think the save is nice, though. Like, I don't think the checkpoint system is nice in this game, so I have to... I probably think that if I start this game up again in the next run, which will be a different session, uh, it's going to probably be me literally fighting everybody again and stuff. But anyways... Point is, that's it for this episode. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next episode of our video minds. Hope you guys have a great, amazing day. Good night to everyone for watching this. Next episode, let's go ahead and go to the station. Get through whatever I need to get through here to get, go somewhere. Right now, my, like, my head does not know where we're headed to. It's just feeling like we're just progressively going through the space. I think 
uh, this kind of made me... This, this is the same familiar feeling from when I first played it. Back when I was younger. That I was like, oh, okay, you know, we're just going forward with the story because... Story. But there's no real sense of, like, goal. It just feels like you're just moving forward because there's new enemies to deal with. Or some sort of context of the whole space is different and it's pulling you ahead slowly as the, the map moves forward in a way. Um, which is interesting, but I don't know. It's kind of weird. But anyways, point is, that's it for this episode. Uh, more to come, hopefully. And I'm looking forward to wherever this takes us for the next episode. Other than that, Roz, out.